Hello internet friends, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tips and tricks for redheads. I just want to start by saying that I'm by no means a professional makeup artist and however you want to do your makeup and whatever makes you feel beautiful is how you should do your makeup. I just want to show you guys some products that I really like and I think work really well for redheads and hopefully it'll help one or two of you guys find some makeup products that will work well for you as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah boy, I'm digging what you're doing, yeah boy. So for mascara, I like to use two different kinds of mascaras. I like to use a brown mascara and a black mascara. So um, I would say the basic mascara that you find at the store is in the color black or like dark black. Um, but the reason I like brown is that I feel like it looks really a lot more natural but it still gives you a little bit of like volume to your lashes. Because I don't know about you guys but I have almost blonde eyelashes so just having a little bit of brown mascara on really help. My tip is to use a brown mascara for days where you want to just look a little bit more natural but you still want your eyelashes to look pretty and not like you know, they're, where they just look like they're non-existent. <laughs> and I don't really have like one mascara that I really love um, when it comes to the color brown but the one that I have right now is the Maybelline Volume Express one. For days like today where I want to have like a little bit darker of a makeup look I use black which I use on most days. Um, this is the Voluminous Million Lashes Excess, and this is one of my favorite mascaras. And it's only like eight bucks from the drugstore, which is awesome. As a person with very fair skin, I was definitely avoiding bronzers for the longest time, but I loved the way that they looked on other people. So I went out to try to find a product that would look good on me but wouldn't make my face look orange because I felt like a lot of the products that other people have put on me made my face look really orange and that was not what I want. So my favorite bronzer that I use every day is the Hulu Benefit Bronzer and I think it's amazing that it works for so many different types of skin tones. You definitely have to be careful when you're putting it on to do it very lightly um, but I love this and it does not look orange on my skin which is a plus because I feel like most of the bronzers that I had purchased looked orange and then I didn't wear them. So uh, I would definitely recommend the Hulu Benefit Bronzer. When it comes to blushes, I actually stay away from blushes. I think that's because I have a lot of um, pink and red in my skin naturally that I try to get like rid of or make lighter by putting foundation on. So I always feel weird about putting back on the color after I've taken away the color. But I do want to try to wear blushes, so if you guys know a good blush for a really light skin tone for redheads, comment down below and let me know because I will go buy it and let you know how I like it. Because I think it would look really pretty, I've just always stayed away from it because, you know, I already have so much redness in my skin, so let me know down below. When I first started wearing makeup, I wore a lot of black eyeliners. I feel like they looked really intense for my face because my hair is pretty light and wearing black eyeliner was really intense for my face. But I did it at first and it works for a lot of redheads where they look amazing in black eyeliner. But for me, I feel like I don't look as good in black eyeliner. So the alternative for that is wearing brown eyeliner or a colored eyeliner. If I'm using a top eyeliner, I like to use the Their Real Push Up Liner. And what's great about this is that it comes in the color dark brown. And you can really tell the difference when you're putting it on that it is dark brown and not black. And I think that that works a lot better for my face. And also, I am terrible at putting on top liner, but when I bought this, it makes it so easy to put on top liner. So if you are like me and you suck at putting on top liner, I would recommend this product because it's still hard, but you get a better line and it's not like as like when I use liquid liner, it's like all over my face and I'm like, nope. But another tip that I have, what I do, is that I'll put this on my top liner, the dark brown, and then on my bottom waterline and my top waterline, I will put a green eyeliner. And so two of my favorites are the Marc Jacobs one. I don't know what color this is. I mean, you could tell if you went to the store, it's, an, it's like a forest green color. And I also really like the Urban Decay 24 Glide On eye pencil. And this is also like in a greenish color too. And what I really like about this is that it's a really, really dark green. And so I'm in my bottom waterline and my top waterline and I feel like it gives me the oomph that I need for my face. But you can still tell that it's green and it's bringing out the green in my eyes. So I really like that as like an extra tip. Baby, I'm perfect. Baby, I'm perfect for 
for you. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, it's ridiculous, and most of them are from Urban Decay because we all know that their palettes are amazing. But I think for my skin tone and my hair color, it is my favorite to just wear neutrals in either matte or sparkly. And so I have like every single matte palette or every single neutral palette that I could have. But these are my favorites that I have right now. <laughs> my favorite palette and will always be favorite palette is the Naked palette and this has been greatly loved. I think I've had this for like three years and the colors are almost gone. but. This continues to be my favorite and I think the colors are beautiful. They're mostly shiny, there's like two mattes in it, um, but I really, really love this palette. Another palette that I really enjoy is the Tartelette palette. And what's really great about this palette is the entire thing is matte neutrals. So you just got these beautiful matte colors, which I think is nice because in a lot of palettes it's mostly shiny and then some of them are matte and sometimes you just want to look really natural and beautiful. So a palette that I recommend is this one because it is very neutral and it is matte. And a palette that I've been absolutely loving lately is one that I got from Tarte and I think it's and it's from their new collection. I think it's like Rainforest of the Sea collection. I don't know. You could I could be totally wrong. But the packaging got me on this because look at it. It's so cute. But the colors. Ah. Let's give it a minute to focus. I just really love this palette and this is all like shiny colors but they are all neutral colors which I think looks really really great for redheads. And last but certainly not least because you want your brows to be on fleek. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> I'm just trying to be hip. Certainly not least is for your eyebrows and this took me a while to find a color that matched well because they don't really make or if they do let me know down below because I haven't found a product that is made specifically for like dark red hair eyebrows <laughs> you know they usually come in light medium and dark um, but I found the benefit box and this is so old I've had this for like four years and it is still going strong um, but this is in the color light and they still sell these, the box is different, um, but the product is the same. And they sell these from Benefit in light, medium, and dark. And so I would suggest getting light, and for some reason, like my mom has this and she has blonde hair, um, and it makes her eyebrows look light brown. But when I put it on, it makes my eyebrows look the dark red color that they are. So that is why I absolutely love the brow, Benef brow, I have no idea what this is called. The brow kit by Benefit. Um, I think works beautifully and it also it's 30 it's like $30 but let me just say I've had this for four years and it is going strong because you don't need a ton of product so it's also a product that's worth it because it lasts so long well that is all I got for some tips for today I want to thank you guys because what inspired me to make this video was that I posted a video about a year ago called redhead problems which was like a sarcastic video about things you deal with when you're a redhead and I got so many comments from you guys other redheads commenting about how, what you guys related to and like what kind of families you guys came from and it was so cool so what inspired me to make this video was you guys because I wanted to post another redhead video um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time bye